Hey y'all, welcome back to the party. It's your girl, Rit Reacts, and today we are reacting to Bill Burr's hilarious road rage rant. Let's see what he has to say. So anyway, so I'm back here, all right? And I'm driving around Los Angeles and at rush hour, um, I pull up to this stoplight and it's like, there's two lanes of cars, <laughs> all right? There's like two people in front of me, I stop, and next to me, you know, there's three people, and that's as far, you know, I don't even look at the rear view mirror, and I'm just sitting there, one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000, and then I hear what sounds like explosion, just boom, and I went, whoa, and then I get, I don't even remember, somebody hit my car, right? That really is how car accidents sound, they're so loud you guys like i mean i'm sure if you've heard one then you understand but like it's so jarring whether you're in one or not it's i don't know if it's a sound anyone could ever just be like oh that's a car accident like i'm always so shaken the sound I, you know it's just all the metal and heavy tons of weight hitting each other but like yeah explosion is a great way to explain that also he did such a good job of visually setting up the scene for me I think he does such a good job on this podcast. Like, this is my favorite setting of Billy. He's so good. I don't even remember feeling that. All I know is I just saw this Prius. Oh, gosh, not a Prius. Just driving right down the middle of all of the stop cars. Just, just went right by me. Sorry about yours right there. Just, right? And just side view mirrors just flying off every car what? right down the side of my car. This sounds like and, L.A. And he just comes for to, sure. or he or she comes to a stop. All the airbags deployed in this person's car on the side. I couldn't even see who was in it. Wow. So all I'm thinking is like, oh, my God. Fucking obviously classic example of texting while driving. This motherfucker was looking down and at the last second was like, fuck, and just tried to shoot through the middle. So I, you know. I hate when people get in the little fender benders like that and then they just get out of their car and they leave the car where it's at. It's like, will you just drive the fucking thing over? I love that he explained it as an explosion. Now he's calling it a fender bender. But I do agree. Like that happened recently. My husband and I were in the car and on the other side, um, there had been a someone rear into someone. And it wasn't like substan substantial damage at all. And they blocked the turning the people who were trying to turn onto the the road from the right hand side and the people who were coming from across the intersection to come and make a left hand turn to go straight they were blocking you know it's just two lanes coming across they were blocking one whole lane so the people were in the middle of this intersection trying to merge because these people refused to move their car from being hit and they could have easily I mean easily they were almost close to like the shoulder lane but they stayed in the lane where they were hit and it was just like sometimes you guys common sense is just not common and I get people are like you're not supposed to like da 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 but it's like to move your car an inch to accommodate others who had nothing to do with this if your car is not falling apart and no one is injured it is fine it's fine it's okay <laughs> get it out of the fucking way so people behind you can get out of there so what i did was i pulled you know there was like a street you know a couple feet up and i just pulled into that street and pulled over and the person still hasn't gotten out of the car everybody else that this person hit is out of their cars now and we're waiting for this person to get out and i'm thinking like oh my god like are they unconscious did they hit their fucking head i mean that really sound the impact was unbelievable right i get out of my car and all i have is this on the side of my car all he did the person got was the side view mirror but it's bent all the way the fuck back so like Basically, you could pull up next to me and you could like brush your teeth in the mirror because it's, it's pointing <laughs> right, at, right at you if you were parallel to me. So finally, the fucking car door opens and I, and I actually felt bad for the person. I was like, oh my God, they're going to be so embarrassed. They're going to be fucking mortified or whatever. And it was the exact opposite. This dude gets out and he just starts cursing everybody out. <laughs> he got out of the car yelling at us. This fucking guy just hit five people. And he's like, you motherfucking fuck you. And he's going, fuck you, you fucking bitch. And, and people, now, of course, people are videoing, videoing this person. All right? What? And he starts, you fucking bitch, you fucking, this is the person you should be, get video of her. You fucking fuck all you guys. And well, I'm like, 
This guy was like, he was so fucking committed to yelling at us for half a second. I, w I started thinking like, yeah, what, what did I do wrong when I was just sitting there? I have seen videos on the internet of people having like psychotic types of road rage where they just lose all regard for life and consequence and you see them just like ramming into cars going in reverse just not caring and it's like if you have that much rage in your body and let's be clear most times when something happens as far as car instance I had something happen to me pretty recently and my daughter was in the back seat um that I I didn't even realize I did I, it was an it was a complete accident that's my point I feel like most times when people do something in in an instance that causes road rage road rage the person who caused that person to get upset like really did it on accident or was oblivious because no one is out here driving around wanting to get into a car accident maybe except for this guy driving the Prius I just it's scary to think that people internalize that amount of rage, that something like that can make them forget all responsibility, all regard for life and consequence, that they will just ram through five cars. Not worried about their insurance payment and the safety of people and charges like vehicular homicide, pedestrians, animals, like they just have no regard. Like that is really scary to think about someone holding on to that much anger it's so terrifying and that's like literally kind of what happened to me I had I didn't see it you know there's blind spots and I got over my daughter wanted Wendy's and we were passing the Wendy's as she said she wanted so I got over really quickly and didn't see this guy in my blind spot he tailed my car into the Wendy's parking lot tailed my car my daughter's in the back seat tails me and then comes on the side of me as I get into the Wendy's line and just starts cursing me I have let me have it and my daughter's in the back seat crying no regard no regard he was just so angry. No, nothing happened. I didn't hit his car, nothing like that. But I, I made him so angry with my mistake that he was okay to come and harass us and scare the crap out of my daughter. Now, if I was a crazy person and I had a weapon on me or something like that, that could have escalated into even more, all because I made a mistake and it enraged. He had that much anger in his heart. I mean, the things he was saying were so disgusting. And I'll leave it to your imagination. But it's like for you to have that much on a Tuesday afternoon, you have that much. I pointed to my daughter in the backseat. He saw my daughter and like looked at her and started going off. It's like you have that much anger in your heart. You need help. You need help. And literally all I could say to the man was like, I am sorry and you need Jesus. I'm just going to pray for you. Like <laughs> because someone who has that much anger in them, it's not about you. It's not about the mistake you made on the road. At the tra traffic like not hitting anybody. So the funniest thing ever, right? These people start to engage this person mm -mm. in the argument. Mm -mm. It's like, why would you waste your time arguing? This guy just hit five people with the car and he's yelling at us. He's literally knee deep in side view fucking mirrors. <laughs> like, do you really think that you're gonna you're gonna say anything to this guy right. and he's gonna stop? mid screaming and be like, Oh yeah, yeah okay, fair enough. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. Right. No, he's Didn't locked look at in. it that way. He's um, unhinged. So I just start laughing. I mean, it was, it was just, it was fucking, this guy just hit five fucking people and now he's yelling at us. I was, was fucking hilarious, right? So he gets into his car and he grabs like three backpacks and he puts them on himself and he goes, get used to it. This is what, this is what LA is going to be like. And everybody's like, whoa, hey, hey, post 9-11. What the fuck does that mean? He yells at the lady more, calls her a bitch another couple times. And I don't know if they were both fucking jockeying for a position or he felt she cut him off. But I think this guy just went total fucking road rage. He just picked a spot and he's like, I'm fucking getting there before you and I don't give a shit. This guy just fucking snaps. So he grabs his fucking backpacks and then just walks away. <laughs> No. Walks down the street like fucking. I was joking with my buddies like uh, Andy Griffith when he's taking Opie to go fishing. He just fucking walked away. <laughs> no. And I was like, this guy's out of his fucking mind. He just. Yeah. See, that had nothing to do with that lady. That man woke up with a vengeance. He woke up with a chip and three book bags on his shoulder. It just is like, that is so scary. It really is so scary. And then he walks away leaves his vehicle like there's no regard there's no regard for any kind of consequence you don't want to talk to these type of people you don't want to engage with these type of people that is so scary
Oh my lord. He just, he just fucking he hit out. He hit us. He's yelling at us, and then he walks away like I'm done with this shit. Right. Forget like, the one, police. One of the greatest displays of entitlement I've ever seen in my fucking life. Jeez. I mean, what if there was a pregnant lady he hit? I right. Mean, that's what I'm saying. Children in the car, pregnant women, anyone. And now your road rage has turned into charges beyond, you know, a ticket, a traffic ticket in your insurance going up. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? And this is coming from someone who has overcome anger issues. I, is it worth it? What do you get? What do you get? Do you go home and lay down at night and get some type of satisfaction? Do you feel relieved? Like, what do you get? I, I just, it breaks my heart. Like, it, it only makes me feel pity and sadness for people like that. This guy hit this fucking first person so hard. I looked down. I thought it was a hubcap. It was this chunk of a rim. I said to the cop, a I go, is that plastic? He goes, no, rim? that's metal. That's the rim. It's like, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. So... He, by the time the cops get there, that guy's just gone. He is gone. He is gone. That ball is gone. <laughs> um, so I call up a buddy of mine because now I'm like fucking pissed going like, Jesus, what, 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 the arrogance of this guy. And then I'm thinking all that shit. I just, what, what, what if I went up and I just said, no, buddy, you shut the fuck up. And then I knocked him out. And then, you know, you're going to your hero fucking thing. Yeah, what if I did that? Oh, wait, that's right. I'm a pussy, you know. Oh, wait, I've, I have... Uh, I don't like getting punched in the face. Oh, that's why. I don't have even a white belt in any martial art. That, that, oh, that's why. That's <laughs> why I sat there and did nothing. Oh, I, I forgot. That's right. That's why I did nothing, right? So I call up a buddy of mine who's a lawyer. I remember a long lawyer. time ago, I got into it with this woman. And uh, we went up to the stoplight and she was like, you know, she beeped at me, so I beeped back at her. And she beeped at me, I beeped back at her. And then she just fucking hammered the horn all the way up to the light, like 400 yards. Stops and holds it down and staring at me in the rear view mirror. What? And the second it stopped, she held her horn down for 30 seconds. And the second it stopped, I just went beep. And me and the woman I was with, Bill Burr is so petty and I, I love it. I love it. Like the fact that that accident happened and he was just, like the people were freaking out and he's just laughing and now this lady's laying on her horn and he goes, beep, he's so petty. The level of petty is very professional here and I respect it so much. And it's interesting because he, he talks about how much of a hothead he is, but he seems like in situations where his hotheadedness might be warranted, he keeps his cool, you know? Good and the him. second it stopped, I just went, beep. And me and the woman I was with fucking started dying laughing at her. And then she all of a sudden put her car in reverse, backed into me really lightly, and then got out, of, reached into her glove box. And I sat there like going, oh, my God, is she getting a gun? What the fuck? And she wrote down my license plate number. She backed into you. And then drove away. She backed into you. And I, of course, thought nothing of it. I was a young man. Stop. And uh, next thing you know, I'm on the road and I get this. I check in my, I'm checking my voicemail. It's like the 90s. This is how long ago this was. And it was just like, yeah, uh, Mr. Burr, this is uh, Officer so-and-so from the El Segundo Police Department investigating a possible assault with a deadly weapon. Uh, or whatever the fuck it is, because you know, basically your car is a deadly weapon. Stop. Now, isn't it battery if you actually hit somebody? I thought assault was either threatening somebody or making them feel like you're going to hit them or something like that. That's salt in, in a battery, assault, and battery's actually doing it. So anyways, no. because of that fucking thing. <laughs> Say God bless you in the comments. Thank you. Um, I knew that, you know, watching this guy leave, I'm like, okay, that's five counts of, an assault, of, of assault with a deadly weapon. We got video of you screaming at everybody. Wait, did I miss something? Did he just skip the story with the lady? I want to know how that ended. I knew that, you know, watching this guy leave, I'm like, okay, that's five counts. Guys, wait, I'm so confused. Wait. Assault and, and a battery, assault and battery's actually doing it. So anyways, because of that fucking thing. Oh, okay. Um, 
I knew that, you know, watching this guy leave, I'm like... I hate that we didn't get the end to that story because what did the police call him for? Because he was not at fault in any way, shape, or form. That lady was straight up tripping. I hate that you didn't finish that story, Billiam. It's upsetting me. Um, I knew that, you know, watching this guy leave, I'm like, okay, that's five counts of, an assault, of, of assault with a deadly weapon. Right. We got video of you screaming at everybody, so you can't say you were texting or listening to the radio. You basically admitted that and, what you did, you kind of did on purpose. The city of we Los have Angeles. You on video. Everyone knows what you look like, and then you left the scene of the accident. Right. So I call up a buddy of mine who's a lawyer, and I just left the message. I just, I just want to know what kind of jail time is this guy looking at? How long is he going to go to jail? My buddy calls me back. And he just goes, I go, yeah, I go, do you fucking believe it? He goes, yeah, man, that's crazy. And I go, uh, how long is this guy going to go to jail for? What's that, like three years? And he goes, ah, you know, you know, if he's a first offender, I mean, the jails are crowded. You know, he doesn't have any other priors or anything like that. He just has like a rage issue. Eh, yeah, they probably so just anger management. Suspend his license indefinitely. They send him some anger management things and... And I was just like, no jail time? And he was like, when he got out of the car, like, what was he saying? And, and just, I couldn't believe it. I was like, you can, you can fucking hit people, five people, five different people in a Yeah, he would have had to cause, like, major damage. Yeah, I agree with the lawyer. That's, I mean, I feel like that's, like, literally how it works. Someone would have had to, like, die or be seriously injured for there to be, like major repercussions he will probably get his license suspended he will definitely be put in anger management some community service a fine now if he has priors then that's a different situation but maybe someone with the mitigated goal such as he knew this maybe he was educated maybe he's a lawyer maybe he knew it would be a slap on the wrist and it was worth releasing all the anger that he had that day on five innocent people Maybe. I was like, you can, you can fucking hit people, five people, five different people in a car. No concern for their, their, their well-being whatsoever. Get out, curse everybody out, leave, and not fucking go to jail. It's wild. It's unbelievable. What the fuck do you have to do to go to jail? <laughs> and he was just like, well, you're going to put him in jail, and n nobody becomes a better person when they go to jail. He's going to be in there with a bunch of fucking maniacs, so... I actually feel irresponsible to let people know out there that you can basically do what this guy just did and, and you're not right. going to go to jail. I'm, I mean, I'm sure he's going to get arrested when they find him. Was this I, recent? I, don't know. I, was, I was pretty blown away by that. So there you go. Instead of looking at sharks, I got re by this guy. But uh, I got to admit, every time I think about that guy yelling, it was fucking hilarious. And I... And I start thinking, like, was that just, like, a strategy for him to get the fuck out of there? And everybody goes, like, he, it was probably a stolen car. It's like, who the fuck steals a Prius? How do you start a Prius? How do you steal one? <laughs> Can you hotwire the fucking thing? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I have no idea. So, I, How do you steal a Prius? How do you start one? <laughs> I'm weak. I'm weak. I love how everybody becomes like a fucking sleuth, you know? <laughs> well, yeah, probably what he, what, what, what was, what was the circumstances? <sighs> oh, okay. Let me listen to you with your complete lack of fucking, that's why I called a lawyer. I was like, I, I, I don't want to talk to other people. Cause I mean, he'll probably get like seven years, you know? No. I never even took a, a lawyer class. I <laughs> took lawyer a class. Lawyer. I never went to law school. I'm a moron. <laughs> lawyer class. Leave it to Bill. Oh my gosh, took a lawyer class. <laughs> he, he's just a regular guy talking about regular things, okay? You can't expect him to know it all. <laughs> that situation is nuts. That was just insane to me, truly, honestly, bizarre. If you have that type of rage, seek help. There's so much help out there. You know, don't risk your, your life and others. Don't do that. Anyway, go have the day that you deserve, folks. Peace.